since I jumped on last, but I just ran into Sarah Jessica Parker and Matthew Broderick and I honestly really truly wanted to talk to them so I just went up and said I love your work and I love what you're doing and I'm an aspiring actress as well and um, pursuing opera and they were so kind and I got a quick picture with them so it was very nice to meet them. Um, lots more to come I'm sure and I hope to work with them one day on Broadway and in films. They're so talented and I'm sure I can learn so much from them so that was amazing and now we're headed to dinner to get some yummy food. It's about 10.30 p.m. so time to eat. New York City. This is Los Angeles. I am now home and editing my vlog and unfortunately I found out that halfway through my New York vlog my microphone turned off and I don't know how this happened but it did and I'm just rolling with the flow so everything I'm talking about in those videos I'm gonna kind of stay here so you guys know what I'm saying and uh, learn about New York a little more. <laughs> So in this clip, I was talking to you guys a little bit about the lunch spot we were at, and it was actually in our hotel in Times Square, in the W Hotels called Dos Caminos, and they had really good food. They had wild salmon and uh, lots of great tacos and burritos, and their guacamole was amazing. And after that, that evening, my parents went to an Elton John gala, and it was very fancy, beautiful. My dad and my mom actually met Tony Bennett and Shania Twain Singh, so it was a fun night. And my sister and I went to Jersey Boys instead of going with them. So we saw Jersey Boys and that was so fun. They said it was on Broadway, but it wasn't really. It was in this kind of black box theater mixed with other Broadway shows. So they had Avenue Q right across from it. So it was a little odd, not the normal Broadway experience, but the show was really cute. I liked the music and it was very fun and upbeat. So I'm glad we went. <laughs> And so today was sort of an exploring day, so we walked over to Little Italy and we had lunch at this restaurant called Gelso and Grand, which was so good, you guys. Oh my gosh, their food was incredible and their restaurant, their atmosphere was so cozy and warm and it was a rainy day, so it was so nice to just be cozy and warm and have good comforting food. And then after that, we walked all throughout Little Italy and then across the Manhattan Bridge to the other side and got some coffee on the other side. And we took the subway for the first time ever. That was a blast and very busy. Not as dirty or scary as people say it is. Uh, so I definitely recommend taking the subway when you're there. Maybe not by yourself if you're a female traveling alone for the first time, but I mean, do what you want. It's pretty safe. There's so many people and we have phones nowadays. So it really doesn't make a difference. <laughs> to see Central Park at night. So we took the subway all the way over to a Central Park station, got out and walked around Central Park for a bit. There was a beautiful ice skating rink and we were considering going, but the whole ice skating rink was reserved for a private event. So we couldn't and that was fine because it was a little cold and rainy still. So we just walked around for a while and went to a little restaurant bar and got some snacks and uh, Next day, 
We walked from our hotel to Soho, which was a beautiful area, and we ate at this restaurant called P uh, Piccolo Cucina. And it was, when they say piccolo, it was definitely small. That's what it means in Italian. It was the tiniest little restaurant. You're literally almost touching soul. Sh blah, blah, blah. <laughs> It was such a tiny little restaurant. You're literally sitting so close to the person next to you. You're like almost bumping shoulders with them. But that's definitely part of the experience because the kitchen is in the little restaurant room and it's all just close, tight knit, but super fun. Definitely a unique experience. The Italian food was amazing. They served everything in these little cast iron skillets. So I don't know if they're cast iron, but these little skillets and right off the stove and they just serve them. So they had like this gnocchi and lasagna and incredible food that was definitely homemade and authentic and very good quality. So that was super fun, such a fun experience. And then after that, we walked around Soho for a bit. My sister and I checked out a little record shop. That was cool. They had a bunch of antique uh, vinyls and then we went to this little coffee shop or restaurant thing, cafe, called Springbone. And I got a cup of bone broth just for uh, warmth instead of coffee. And my sister got a bulletproof coffee blend. And we just walked around and explored for a while. So that was so fun. And that place, Springbone, I was like, man, I wish I didn't eat because they had grass-fed beef, organic cage-free eggs, organic chicken, zoodles, like all the stuff I love. And I was like, oh, I'm full though. Anyway, so next time I go, I'll definitely have some lunch or brunch there because it looked delicious and yeah. So that evening we walked around Times Square for a bit and that was pretty much every day because our hotel was right in Times Square, the W Times Square. So every time we exited our hotel, we were in Times Square. So it's kind of hard to avoid it, which was fun though, because the lights are pretty all the time and it's usually pretty busy, but it was nice to get a few different perspectives of lighting for photos. And then after that, we headed to some dinner at this restaurant called Patsy's. And I guess it's a very popular destination for celebrities and um, all kinds of people. They're a very famous restaurant and I'll make a brand new start of it in old New was our final day in New York, but that evening we had the best dinner of our entire trip. We found this restaurant on Yelp called uh, Chimichurri, and it's an Argentinian steakhouse. So the, so it was actually over in Hell's Kitchen, which is the cutest area to walk in at night, I swear. All the lights and the restaurants and everything are adorable. So we had, they had grass-fed organic steak, and that was crazy because you can't find that everywhere. Very good quality, and the flavor was just incredible. Like, I cannot wait to write a full blog post on their restaurant because I truly love what they're doing. They have quality in their food. It's a husband and wife that own the restaurant. She's in the front, he's cooking in the back, and they just love what they do, and they're happy, and you can, you can tell by just being there. So... That was our last full day in New York City, and we're definitely gonna miss it. I had such a fun time. I love New York. Every time we've gone, I just love everything about it, and obviously my dream is to live there one day and maybe study at a school there for musical theater or just pursue Broadway. Whatever I do, I know I wanna do something in New York one day because it's such a fun city full of so much opportunity, 
and people that you can learn from. So it's such a really fun place to be. Then that next morning, we woke up bright and early to head to the airport. So we packed up the night before just so it wasn't too hard to get up and go. So we headed to the airport and uh, got through security, all that stuff. I got a cup of oatmeal at Starbucks and a banana to have on the plane because I was hungry. And yeah, that was everything for our New York City trip. We flew United home, United Polaris, which that first class was beautiful and so cozy and spacious. So grateful that we were able to fly in such a comfy seat. And uh, yeah, it was only five hours home. We had a beautiful view of downtown LA as we were flying in to LAX and that's what I show at the end there. Uh, yeah. so much for watching this New York City vlog. I had such a fun time in New York and I cannot wait to go back. It's such a beautiful city full of so much to see and so much to do. Next time I really want to go to the top of the rock and the Empire State Building. We just didn't have much time this time because we were also doing an event there so we had plans and schedules that we couldn't really move around. So overall we had such a fun time. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe because I post new videos once a week. I'm working on getting that up to once every three days because I would like to get more content up for y'all. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.